G'day viewers. Well, big news in Australia today is the federal government repealing the price that had been set on carbon. Shorthand, people are calling it a carbon tax, which is not strictly accurate, but it's a good enough description of what we're talking about. People who produce carbon pollution would pay a price based on the amount of pollution they cause. Now, there's a lot of people upset about that and a lot of people being a motive with, you know, but it's a prick type of things. I thought, look, rather than just going the emotive route, I'll actually explain the economics because a lot of people appear to not understand why such a thing would even be done. Setting a price on carbon, whether it's a straight tax or an emission trading scheme, which a lot of people are exploring. Apart from it being you know, an evil communistic plan to take away your future. The thing is, it's a solid economic principle because... Pollution is what's known as a negative externality. Without a price on that, which also goes by the slightly unlikely name of a Pigovian tax, uh, you see, if somebody is digging up coal, burning it in a power plant, and making their money that way, uh, the money they make without a Pigovian tax is not taking into account that down the line there is an additional expense. The pollution they create, and it's not just from coal, it's all forms of pollution and this type of externality is not limited to pollution, but this is what we're talking about. So the people digging up the coal and burning it aren't paying the cost of cleaning up their pollution. And someone has to, and if the people making the massive billions of dollars in profit digging it up don't pay it, uh, then ordinary taxpayers will end up paying for the pollution costs. And of course, when we look at the life-threatening issue of climate change and coal burning being one of the worst contributors to it, well, there are some crippling costs coming. When you look at what some of the insurance companies are doing and what they're planning for, Without fairly radical steps taken now and continuously for decades to come, the actual costs of climate change will be in the trillions, the tens of trillions of dollars and cost millions of lives. And hey, I live in a country where 80% of the population and industry lives near the coasts. And so rising sea levels kind of a serious issue. So that is why uh, a lot of people believe you should have a price on carbon pollution because there is a cost. It's a known economic principle called a negative externality. It's simple economics. Someone is paying for it and when you really put your thought, oh, maybe the person who's making all the profits causing the problem should actually also pay for fixing the problem seems fairly straightforward. But like anything to do with taxation, at any level, it gets tied up in politics, and climate change is tied up with idiots who put politics before reality. And now I'll get on to the emotive part of the argument, namely, Tony Abbott's a fucking prick. And uh, he one of these big things going to the election, we're going to get rid of the carbon tax. He lied non-stop about the impacts of it and why it didn't. And again, it's why I explained the negative externalities when they were going, to go, oh, but you're making the consumption of energy more expensive because we fucking have to, to offset the costs that are coming. It's not hypothetical. The costs of dealing with this pollution is coming. There is no two ways about it. So that is the reason, like, yes, the uh, using of this dirty energy should be more expensive. In other videos, I will doubtless rant about these fuckers sabotaging alternatives. But yeah, that's why there should be a price on carbon, because it is creating a cost that somebody has to meet. I just round out, when I saw the reactions to the inevitable repeal of the carbon tax, I was a little confused. First, people actually seeming surprised. The, you know, this was something that Abbott had said, absolutely first and foremost, he's going to do. And trying to say, you should be ashamed. He has no shame. Uh, I do believe the pictures of these 
fuckheads in this government literally dancing, hugging each other and running around with shit-eating grins, history will use those images to damn these people, which is what they deserve. But the idea of acting surprised at this is a bit weird. And also, he needed the help of the minority parties in the Senate to uh, pass legislation. And there was a bit of a fun sideshow where the Palmer United Party uh, blocked it temporarily and made him jump through hoops. And then when the Palmer Party, who went to the election saying they would support the repeal of the carbon tax, did eventually support it. People go, oh, how could you do it? They said all along they were going to do it. The temporary bargaining and, quite honestly, humiliating of Abbott, uh, that was just a bonus and a bit of a sideshow. I really enjoyed it, for one. Uh, Abbott had gone saying, I'm not going to kowtow to any minor parties. And then he's had to suck up and do what they wanted, or he wasn't going to get his way. See, he's, the thing is, he never believed people would go against him. He's so messianic in his view of his own greatness. This is why he didn't lead the previous minority government that Julia Gillard did, because she was willing to talk to independent conservatives and say, let's do the best deal for you, where Abbott was, do something for me. And so they went, no, fuck you, this is better for our constituents. And this is why Palmer held him up, because Abbott took it for granted, you have to do what I say. And Palmer's just for shits and giggles gone, oh no, what if I make you squirm for a while and humiliate you publicly? That was fun, but it was just a sideshow. Palmer and his party had committed ahead of time they would support this. So, while I understand the emotions riding on this issue, you do look a little bit stupid when all your arguments against it are emotive and acting shocked and surprised when people did what they said they were going to do doesn't make you look all that bright. But it is important... Share the actual economics of it. Because a lot of people genuinely don't understand why you would want to price carbon. It's simple economics. The cost to fix it is coming and it's only fair that the people who cause the problem actually foot the bill for it. And yes, that will make energy derived from these dirty non-renewable sources more expensive. Because it has to. There is a cost and it's going to be worse than just dollars if we don't do something about it now.